Hi boys and girls. Have you ever noticed when you're outside at night and you look up at the moon, at different times of the month, the moon might look different. Sometimes you see just a little bit of the moon. Sometimes you can see almost all of the moon. Sometimes you can see the whole moon. We call that the full moon. Sometimes you can't see it at all. The moon is actually not changing during the month. It's the way we look at the moon. Today we're going to be learning about the patterns of the moon. If you wa keep watching, keep track of the moon over a month, you'll see that it follows the same pattern from month to month. It's always going to follow the same pattern of how we can see it throughout the month. We're gonna start by watching a movie and then we have an activity I'm going to teach you how to complete today in Seesaw. All right, stay tuned for the movie that will teach us about patterns of the moon. The moon. The moon is our nearest neighbor in space. It is much closer to us than the sun. It is only 239,000 miles away. The sun is 93 million miles away. The moon is much smaller than the earth. The moon is not like the sun or other stars. It does not give off its own light. It only reflects the light of the sun. That means the sun's light bounces off it. A planet orbits a sun. A moon orbits a planet. The moon takes 28 days to go completely around the Earth. The moon is not smooth on its surface. It has craters, big holes, it has no air. It does not have water. So there is no life on the moon. But people have visited the moon. Neil Armstrong, an American astronaut, was the first person to step on the moon. Moon phases. The moon looks different at different times. Does it change its shape? No, the moon stays the same. What changes is how we see it from Earth. But we don't always see all of that side. Sometimes we only see part of it. This is because of the way it moves around the Earth. Remember that the moon only reflects the light of the sun. So when the sun is behind the moon, we can't see it at all. We call this a new moon. The night is very dark. When the sun is facing the moon, we see the whole face of the moon lit up. This is called a full moon. What happens between the new moon and the full moon? We see only parts of the moon. First, we see just a little slice. Only a little of the sun's light is hitting the moon. It seems to get bigger each night. Then we can see half of the moon lit up. Each night we see more and more of it. Then finally we see the full moon. After that, it seems to get smaller again. We see less and less of it. Then we cannot see it at all. From Earth, it looks like the sun is not lighting up the moon. This is called the new moon. Then the cycle starts all over again. These are called the phases of the moon. The next time you're outside at night, look at the moon. Watch how it changes from one night to the next. Let us now summarize what we have learned. Do you want to learn?
right, now that you have seen the movie about the patterns of the moon or the moon phases, you are going to complete an activity in Seesaw. So in the Seesaw activity today, there is an assignment, an activity attached. You're going to click the green Add Response button to find it. Then select your name and it will open up the activity for you. You're going to use the pen tool down here to color in the different phases of the moon. So if I look over here, here's my full moon. So at this point we see the whole thing, which is why I have it colored in all yellow, because we would see the whole thing in the sky. Then as we start to go away from the full moon, we start to see a little bit less of it. So in this moon, I'm just gonna color in or shade in the part that is not lit up. So I'm gonna use my pen and it's just a little piece there. So I'm gonna use a thin pen there and I'm gonna choose black. And I'm just going to color in this little piece here that's not lit up. This moon is called the waxing gibbous. Okay, then as it continues throughout the month, at the first quarter, we see half of the moon and half of it is dark, so I would shade in this part dark. Now it's moving through the month. Now we're getting closer to the new moon where we don't see any of the moon at all. This would be the waxing crescent. And now most of the moon is going to be dark. We'll just see this little slice of the moon in the sky. So now I might want to use a little bit thicker pen since I have to color in more of the moon here. So at this point in the sky, most of the moon, oh, I don't like that. I made a little line outside there. So I'm going to use my undo and try that again. And I'm just going to color in this part that would be dark in the sky. All right, and then next we would see no moon at all. This is the new moon, so I might even use a thicker one here because I have to color this whole moon in dark. And then we start to slowly see more and more moon again. This moon is called the waning crescent. Then we're back to half and half. This is called third quarter. And then almost at the full moon again, this time we're gonna see most of the moon, just a little slice of it is black. This is called waning gibbous. So your job is to color in the parts of the moon. Right now I have them white. You're going to color those parts in black. When you are finished, you're gonna go up here, click the green check mark, and submit your activity to me. All right, if you have any questions, please send me a note or come and see me during wind time.